Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, getting started, there's a lot of stuff that we can just skip over for now. But starting off, let's go into spirit modes, because we're gonna go into the adventure mode. The world of light. Don't let a single one get away! We'll each need to take down about ten. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will! With an army of master hands under its control, Galeem sought to create a new world. The fighters and their countless stories. Came to an end as light consumed them. Thus the universe was crushed in the hands of Galim. Those who fought the light were devoured. The others lost their bodies and became spirits. Only one survived. A star of hope twinkles faintly as the dust settles on a new world. Galeem copied the fallen fighters, creating empty puppets in their likeness. Then Galeem forced the captive spirits to pull the puppets' strings. This army of puppet fighters spread themselves across the land, last remaining world. Can anyone free the spirits from Galeen's control? Is there any hope for the fallen fighters? The journey to defeat Galeen Bullet begins.
So here we are. This is the new world that we have to go through and explore and fight through. I love also how in the cutscene, um, Snake's just hiding inside of his box. But yeah, the entire Nintendo universe has been destroyed except for Kirby and remade again. So let's get started. We can move around the map. It's not very open. Technically, the map is just you follow the lines that are marked. Let's get started with the Smoky Prog. Spirits are beings whose bodies have been claimed by Galeem, the Lord of Light. Galeem traps the spirits within puppet fighters and forces them to do his bidding. When you defeat a puppet fighter, you'll free the spirit trapped within it. Free as many spirits as you can. Primary spirits can raise your fighter's attack and defense stats. You want to first select your primary spirit. Except at this point we don't have any spirits. So let's go with our only fighter as well. Kirby. We're fighting the Smoky Prob who is playing as Mario because that's basically how this works. And so, the Smoky Prog's power is that it has Metal Shift, which means that the enemy will occasionally turn into metal. So let's fight. Don't have any spirits equipped, but that's because we don't have any. We can also spe see what the type that the enemy is based on the icon in the top right up there, which is dark. And we can also see earlier how much power it has, which we will want to know how much combat power everything has. I have not played this for a while, apparently, because I can't even remember how to play. We can move around with the, uh, the left stick, and depending on what buttons we press in whatever combinations, we actually do different moves, so... Uh, a and, I believe, X. No, just A. A is just regular attacks. B is special, which for Kirby means we can actually... Come on, get a little bit closer. We can actually suck up Mario and copy his power by pressing down, which means we are now Mario Kirby, I guess. And we can press, uh, just tap the, um, the B button, which is Kirby's special, to use Mario's special. I really like Kirby as a concept, because it means you can actually be any character that you want to be. But yeah, Kirby's got a few other powers as well, where you can up slash to up special to do his sword up and then down again quickly. Uh, if you are in the air and press down special, which is B, uh, you actually turn into a stone Kirby and drop, which does a lot of damage quickly, like once it actually hits something. But anyway, gonna have to explain more about battles as we get further into this, but now we have the smoky prog for fighting it, which means we get a different power, which is strange. Uh, but we start battles with a <laughs> Unir Naira equipped, if we actually have this Smoky Prog, prog equipped. For every battle we defeat, we get, I believe every battle, we get a Skill Sphere, which we'll g need. We also get Coins and SP, which we'll need to spend on stuff. We also get Weakened Minions, which is just a random item that we'll get from some things. We can use that, m which will mean that if an enemy we're fighting has minions, will, those will be weakened. But it only, we can only use it once in a battle, and then it'll go away until we find another one, or buy another one with the gold that we have. We also have snacks. This is the way that we can actually level up uh, fighters and... No, just the spirits, I believe, not fighters. Fighters are always the same. The spirits are what make them upgradable. Rescuing spirits. Rescue spirits will rescued spirits will join your cause. Each spirit is different and each can help you in its own way. Some of them will overlap having the same stuff though. Uh, if a primary spirit has an open slot, you can attach a support spirit to it. Supports have special skills, so experimenting with different spirit combinations is in your best interest. And then the loading screens have a lot of different um help hints, I guess. But anyway, let's have a look at this next battle, which is Eevee, very nice, who is playing as Yoshi and has a, a combat power of 1,400, which is all right. Only certain Pokemon will emerge from Pokeballs, which are items that will drop on the ground, which we can pick up with uh, A, I believe, when we're not moving. 
Uh, and depending on what the power is, you can actually use it in different ways. If we just press A again to throw it uh, as a Pokeball, it means that it will bring out a Pokemon who will fight for us. Which, in this one, uh, only certain Pokemon will emerge from those Pokeballs, according to the rules of this fight. So, reinforcements will appear during the battle. Also, I don't think I've mentioned already, but the, the spirits will actually play the character they're playing as, as if it were them in their own form, I guess. So, Eevee's going to try and be as close to Eevee as possible. And I actually kind of like that as a concept for this game, because it basically means that we have whatever spirits in, are in the game are kind of playable characters, but are playable as the actual fighters. Anyway, let's go to party now, because we actually have a free... Um, main spirit to use, which you've got Felix, and he has two slots on him, so that's actually pretty good starting off. He's a dark type with 1464 combat power, and I think that the stats up there are probably the the red and blue ones are probably attack on top, which we have 400, no, 747 attack, and then uh, 717 de defense. I guess. I don't actually know if that's actually what that is because it's not actually telling me, so. Although I think if I go in here and go details. Nope, that's not going to show me anything. We can also press CL to put a little marker on any spirits that we really like so we can actually keep them for later. Yeah, I'm surprised it's not actually telling me if that's what that actually is or not with the attack and defense, but I'm guessing that's what that is. Anyway, since he has two slots on him, we can actually select the Smoky Prog, and we actually start the battle with an, a weapon, which is an item that can randomly spawn sometimes. We can also use White Auto Pick if we really want to, but we've only got one selected. We can use X to remove, same with the Special, or the Primary, that's the one. If we go to Level Up, though, Feed Snacks to Primary Spirits in order to increase their levels quickly. It's only the Primary ones that get leveled up. Some spirits won't realize their true potential until they reach level 99. So, we can actually use a little bit of snacks here right now. Obviously, the L ones will cost more SP to use, uh, but they'll give you more experience and levels up, so... Oh my goodness, we can already go to level 35 if we use a snack M. I might hold off on snacks for now, just because I want to pro use them on fighters that I really need. Or the, the primaries that I really need. And also, just because we don't really need any kind of extra power right now. Anyway, let's fight. Also, those icons on the top right also show us how many fighters we actually have to fight against. Ready? If there is more than the amount allowed in a level, oop, it will actually... Oh, come on. I'm forgetting which button to jump, which is X and Y, apparently. Kirby has several jumps, which is useful, so we can actually just stay in the air for a long time. Also, if there's food like this, we can press A next to it to pick it up. Oh my goodness. I guess this Eevee is kind of like Flareon, I guess. Just because they have to be kind of Eevee-based. But anyway, let's use this sword that has spawned in so we can stab our enemies. We can also press R to throw stuff, which is very useful when trying to knock enemies off the screen. You or an enemy dies if you fall off the screen too far, or if you get a high enough CP, no, a high enough percentage on the screen and you get hit by something strong, like that. So, Yoshi had a high percentage, so he hit it with a strong move and it just flies off the screen. I hope I'm explaining this well because it's kind of difficult to explain at the moment because I'm tired and just all over the place. But anyway, we have Eevee now. I don't think Eevee has any special skills, but it does will help increase our, our, our everything else, our stats. For fighting in a fight, our primary also gets XP and will level up anyway, so we don't even need to use our snacks sometimes. Celeste. Convenient, isn't it? Anyway. Just gonna look at my... Stuff. Eevee is actually a primary. That's why it doesn't have any special effects. Um... 
I guess I can use Eevee, why not? It's, it's still two slots, so it's about the same as before. Also, I love the music being from every game that is included in the main game, I guess. We're gonna ha encounter a lot of music from different games. A lot of different characters and different maps and all sorts of things. So let's get started. I love a lot of the concepts in this game. And the crossover, I guess. Anyway, we found ourselves in Animal Crossing now. Also, if, an, if a, something has a arrow with... Like a down arrow with the same color as our player number, it actually shows that that's actually our thing that won't... Well, I guess this will actually damage us. But... No, it won't. What am I thinking about? I'm trying to explain things and play video games at the same time. Calm down. Ow. Also, I just bombed myself. Oh, I've got a flower. That's not good. That flower in my head means I'm taking damage to my percentage automatically. Gonna grab that food. Also, Kirby's fairly good. Somewhat. I'm usually a Kirby main, so... That's just you. That's just because I, I've always used Kirby and can't get used to any other character, basically. Come on. Very nice. Jigglypuff is out. Item gravitation draws nearby items closer, which is good for healing items sometimes because the food will actually get pulled towards you. Anyway. Oh my goodness, leveling up quickly. Which is probably a good thing because there are a lot of primaries and it's probably going to take you a very, very long time to level up all of your primary spirits. Anyway. We've reached a fighter icon on the map, which is just this kind of icon here. The regular circle flaming things are regular spirits. But this is an actual fighter, which means that once we fight this fighter and win, we will unlock that character to play as. The captive fighters are being copied to create puppet fighters. The only way to free them from Gleam's control is to defeat them in battle. Okay, let's have a look at our spirits quickly. I think I'm going to stick with Eevee for a little bit longer. And I'm going to equip Celeste so that we can get item gravitation, which will be good. We can also save team and load team if we really need to load them quickly. But anyway, I shouldn't need that that much. It, it will be useful for sure, but not right now since I've not got that very... Not got that... I can't speak. I don't have very many fighters or spirits right now, so... I don't need to load any spirit teams. Anyway, this should be somewhat difficult because we're fighting an actual spirit. But also, it's still early game. We can also charge up our special shot with our hammer, which might be good if I can actually hit him. It's a little bit hard to hit an enemy with that because you have to charge it up for a little bit to actually get the power. Also, we have a special bar underneath our health, which I'm never going to be able to show off because that's a... A final spa smash meter, and if that fills up all the way, and they were not moving, when not touching the control stick, and then press, I, I can't remember what it is. I think it's A or B, probably. It's it's one of those ones, but I can't remember which one exactly. Uh, we will perform our final smash, which is different on every fighter, and usually is really powerful. So, anyway, Mario joins the battle, and we, are, we can now play as Mario instead of Kirby now. So, I guess I can try that out. You can change the fighter you want to play as in the ma in the party menu. Cool. So let me just quickly check that since that's actually a good opportunity to show the menu. We can press plus at any time on the map to go to the party or just manage spirits, skill tree, or options. Quickly, we can go to options to actually change the difficulty, look at the controls, look at the inventory of all of the spirits and items we have, which we have. A few things here. We can also look at the cores, which we don't need to have, need, have to worry about for a little bit now. Just because this isn't going to be much of a problem until after we've actually done all of the World of Light. We can also sell items in here for SP that we don't really need right now, so I'm going to just leave that. Uh, spirits list is just the spirits list that we've already looked at, or kind of. It's more all the spirits in the game 
as icons here. As you can see, there is a lot, and I don't even have the DLC for the game adding many, many more fighters and spirits. You can just limit it to primary supports or fighters if you want to just look at the specific icons by using left to right on the top. You can also sort it by different things at the top of the screen here by pressing Y and then selecting whatever you want to sort by. Sort by date, we can actually see the ones we've got today. Sort by name, it'll be in alphabetical order, I believe. Rank is probably an interesting one because it will actually sort them by how good they are, probably. I don't actually know about that. Oh, I guess it's the stars next to their name that show how good they are. But anyway, I think we can also possibly... No, it's not going to do that. By last use is obviously just going to show the ones that you've used recently. But anyway, just going to stick with number. And let's head out of that because there is still more to look at. How to play, obviously not as important. Saving is useful though because you can just save, make sure you don't lose your progress. Always a good thing to have in options, I guess. But the game usually auto saves, so you don't need to worry about that at all. You can also hold down B at any time to go back to the rest of the game outside of adventure mode, which we don't need right now, so. Uh, manage spirits, we can actually go to level up to select uh, primaries that we want to level up, but we don't need to do that right now. Dismiss is actually dismissing getting rid of um, spirits that you don't need to actually get their cores, which is the other thing that we saw earlier. And we'll also receive SP from doing that, but you probably only don't want to do that if you have doubles of any character that we probably not going to have until after uh, the adventure mode, so. Summon is actually quite interesting though, because this relates to cause. You can summon new spirits by offering up the cause of spirits you've dismissed. So there are actually s some fighters, or no, the spirits, that you can only get by paying the cause that they need, which this one needs those two, but also by paying the SP for it. So it's going to be a while until we have a lot of those unlocked as well. The other thing that I need to look at, other than all that... Hang on, did I look at party? I don't think I did. This is just the same thing as going into another fight and actually selecting things. We can actually also select a random, so we have a random character every time. Or we can just select the one we want. We can also go to our name to enter a new name. So I'm gonna go... I guess... B... Hang on. I'm gonna do uppercase. Just have to press this... Um, the button with the letter on it that you want until it shows the actual one that you want. So if I want, hang on, if I want L, I have to press this button three times, like that. Um, gonna just put in Blue Toad, real quick. There we go, and then be done with that. And that's actually gonna be useful for, um other things later on. I don't know if picking fight... No, it doesn't. I don't know why it says that when on when you're in the party screen on that. But anyway, we can also just switch our spirits up from the menu here as well. That we don't really need to at the moment, so... We're pretty much good. And the last thing that we need to look at is the skill tree. Because when we get the... Uh, the orbs from fighting anything, we can actually spend them here on this skill tree screen as long as we have enough to actually increase our skills in all the different ways possible, basically. And I don't even know how to get all of, the, all of them because I don't think you get enough orbs from playing through this adventure mode to get them all, so... I don't know how to do, the, do that. But basically you want to pick the stuff that's going to be helpful to you, so... If I had enough orbs for this, I could get neutral attack uh, plus which slightly increases the attack power of neutral attacks, such as jabs. And I could also get tilt attack up, which increases the power of tilt attacks using the control stick and the attack button. Obviously, it gets a very crazy later on when you have double final smash, grants a second final smash after using a final smash. And let me see, what's another one at the end of a skill tree? I did additional mid-air jumps. Increases the number of mid-air jumps by one. 
And that also costs a hundred orbs, so we're gonna be a while. At air attack up up. Increases the power of items and up attacks used in air. A lot. So yeah, it's gonna be a while. Here with smash attacks. Yeah, it's gonna be a while until we get some really good stuff, but it's still really good to keep increasing your skill trees as you can. Okay. While we're on the map though, we can also look at the full map by pressing L. Which will actually show us icons of stuff that we can do. And also areas that we can actually see and access. We can use R to tilt the actual like background, I guess. But that's not helpful. We can also use the right stick to just look around us if we want to, but we don't really need to. We can see a spirit sound there, but can't really do anything with that. Just go back to normal by just tapping anything else. Anyway, let's fight an actual fight for once and let's go against this guardian playing as giant rob which means the attack the enemy is giant i guess the enemy has super armor and has and is hard to launch or make flinch so that means it's going to be difficult to push it back and actually send it flying to win this is a stamina battle which works very differently from the battles we've encountered so far the enemy favors neutral specials so it's going to be pretty strong i would imagine Let's fight. So on a stamina battle, it isn't about percentage and launch rate. It's about how much health you have. And depending on what character you actually use, we actually have different amounts of health. Oh my goodness. You're crushing me right now, please. Oh, I'm not playing very well. I need to actually press the correct jump button and not just do whatever I want. Well, so while we're in this... Ow, bowl form, or... No, don't, 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 please. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, got absolutely crushed by that because I'm not playing well. We still get XP from that though, which is good. Let me just quickly change a few things. I'm gonna switch to Joy-Cons for this because I'm more used to Joy-Cons than Pro Controller, which is probably not the best thing. If I wanna try and be better at Pro Controller, but anyway. Me. Can I switch? I guess not, but I kind of have. I don't know if I've switched controls properly, but that's okay. Um, I might actually see if I can level up my primary very quickly. Also, just quickly, does... Who has the higher... Okay. So, Eevee doesn't have a very high... Um... I can't remember the words I was using. It's not very... Ha doesn't have very much power. So, if we switch over to Felix, he's actually got a lot more power. About five... No, 400 more power right now. And he's a lower level, so... We can actually also level him up some more and go absolutely insane. <laughs> level 60. That seems like a fair trade. Now we have 4,145... ...power, so we're gonna... We're gonna crush this this fight now, probably. Now that I've changed everything, just need to actually make sure I get into the swing of things in this fight. Please. Oh, I just ate that. You can also eat anything as Kirby, so you can just... Ow. Oh my goodness. This guy, this Rob is super strong. If there's an item on the ground, Kirby can eat it to restore health. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. There we go. That's the kick that I want to remember how to use. But there we go. We actually He actually had his special, or his final smash after that, so. Guardian. Weapon resist up. So it actually has better defense than most spirits, so. Anyway. And now, we have a choice to make, because up ahead here, we have... Uh... Hang on. Fighters wait at each end of the crossroad ahead. Carefully consider which fighter to awaken first. And it says that because whichever one we pick, we have to go with and go down that path. Because if we pick one, the other two will be blocked off to us until we come back later. So, I think I'm pr probably going to go with the one that I'm used to. In, and by that, I mean the one time I've played through this game and like the earliest bit of the game that I've saw before that. Let's go against 
villager. And this is where we get to look at the types that characters can be. I guess it's not a shadow. I thought it was shadow. I guess it's just neutral. Okay then. Anyway, primary spirits have different types that they are, being attack, grab, or shield, or neutral. We've only seen neutral up to this point. And it's like rock, paper, scissors, where attack is strong, uh, good against grab, which is good against shield, which is good against attack. Neutral is just neutral. So, going against a grab type fighter, we don't have any other kind of primaries that's going to be good against this because we're just team neutral right now. But let's get into this fight. Also, the fight arena for every, every fighter is the same, which is nice. Can I please, like, do something with this guy? Hang on. What did I just do? Oh, I put I put the spike in my inventory, because that's the thing that the villager can do. Double tap. Regular slap thing? I don't know. Come on. Ah, don't grab me. Also, neutral air A could be good. Oh my goodness, calm down. I want to grab that, please. No, don't do this to me. Oh, I did grab it, though. Got the curry, which means we have fire flowing from my mouth. I don't know what, what to use there. There's also a tree on the ground there that he planted that I probably want to dodge. Okay, we're getting- we're both pretty close to smashes right now. Could be good. Also, he's using a shield right now. We actually have a defense if we hold down uh, our Z buttons on the back. We can hold our shield for a little bit, which means we can dodge attacks, kind of. But we can only stay in that bubble for a little bit of time. And if we're in there too long, we'll actually take damage, so. Or get stunned, that's the one. Get stunned. Oh, don't touch touch me with that flame bar. Strong regular attack. Take that. Villager joins the battle. And we get a ton of skill spheres. Use skill spheres to unlock skills that will aid you in your adventure. Go to the skill tree in the menu to get started. So yeah. And now with that, Master Hand appears and blocks off the other two paths with light bubbles so we can't get through them. But anyway, with that, I think that's actually going to be it for now. We've had a, a little- we went through a few fights and got two more fighters and a few spirits. Um, but yeah, so that is it for now, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.